Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to look at some SBCs that came out today on the last couple days of Scream on the Halloween, the actual day of Halloween, which was today. EA put out a lot of content. We had a lot of stuff that happened today. I want to talk about these two SBCs that came out today, Stream, Scream PK and Scream Chong. And I want to look at what market movements those had today. I want to look at what happened today on the market and kind of talk about how these crazy SBCs um, made the market move today in FIFA Ultimate Team because this card right here, this PK card, is getting into a lot of people's teams. A lot of people are using this card. High medium work rates, which is it's a little bit opposite for what you want as a uh, center back in your squad, but he's got really good defensive stats, and people are obviously doing this SBC based on some of the prices that I'm seeing on the market. And then the Scream Chong, massive boost over his silver base card. Um, pretty solid stats, to be honest, really solid. Nothing spectacular, but it's Manchester United. Um, it's a young star that has been... Um, you know, at United, playing a little bit. Uh, he just got some hype around him because he's Manchester United, stuff like that. So that's why a lot of people are doing this card. PK made more market movements today, uh, but I want to talk about both of these and what we saw happen on the market today because of those cards coming out. Now, the biggest thing with these cards today is the PK SBC and the Chong SBC. Both of those cards are like... They're good value. First of all, the SBCs. We can go check out their prices over here on Footpin. The thing that makes these SBCs, the reason why we're talking about them and why we saw market movements today is because they were priced correctly. They were cards with statistics and positions that were hyped up, that are used in a lot of people's teams, or that would people would actually go out and say, hey, that card's good enough. I want to replace somebody in my team with him or just get him in my team. A lot of people today, as we're gonna look and see on the market, a lot of people today got this PK card and sold their Umtitis, sold their Verans, sold their Langleys, and sold their Ramos center back cards. And a lot of those cards are in a lot of teams. So I think this PK is making it into a lot of teams as well. Even for this Chong card, there were some things on the market today like Mares' Inform I heard was down a lot on Xbox. Didn't move a ton on PlayStation, but other right wings, right mids in the Prem took a hit today because of this Chong card coming into the game. And that's the idea of like substitute goods in this market of FIFA. These are the things that come onto the market that make other things uh, that people put in their teams instead of using another card that's on the market. So that card on the market price drops. It's a substitute good kind of thing. So I wanna look at some of that stuff today. First off, we're gonna go to the market and look through some of the market movements that happened because of PK. Now, Sergio Ramos, a Spanish center back in La Liga, basically with almost identical links um, as PK, except he's on Barcelona instead of Real Madrid. Um, this this Ramos card today in the panic was around 160k, a little bit below that, uh, and he's rebounded a little bit. He's back up to 170, uh, just because people are probably now they did the PK SBC and now they're buying some Ramoses to actually team up with him in the back. Uh, of their squads. They have those two guys at center back and then maybe Ter Stegen or Courtois in goal. So they have that going on in the back of their squads. Some of these other cards though, like Langley. Langley was 135,000 coins on the PlayStation earlier today uh, before 6 p.m. UK. And I think now he is actually down here below 120K. Yes, he's still down low. A lot of people today invested in this card at like 110,000 coins. He's 116, 117 right now, so he's still kind of low. Uh, let me look at Umtiti as well. Basically, all the popular meta uh, center backs from La Liga took a hit today. Now, I bought some of these Umtitis at like 48K because I thought he was going to rebound. People were going to buy teams back. And it looks like people are not using Umtiti or uh, Langley with PK. If they did the SBC, they're using Ramos with him or they're just subbed on Ramos, maybe to link with a Semedo, and they're still getting a good link uh, to their goalkeeper, Ter Stegen. So they're, they're fine with the chemistry. They just kind of plugged and played um, PK and then sold whoever they had there in, in the place of that. So that's why you saw. So those kind of cards went down, like the other center backs, the substitute goods um, to that PK card went down today. Um, and then stuff that went up today was... There were tons of things that went up today. Jordi Alba this morning, I believe, if I'm saying this correctly, Jordi Alba was like 50-something K 
this morning on the PlayStation 4 before this SBC came out. He has now risen all the way up to 84,000 coins because he does get a perfect link to PK. And a lot of people are using Jordi, Jordi Alba in their squads. Another card that a lot of people are using are Samedo, or is Samedo. Samedo's inform this morning was 100 and like 10k on the Xbox, and now I believe it is around 140,000 coins for this left back Nelson Semedo card. So this card went booming today as well. Again, Barcelona left back links. There's a green link to PK, and then um, even Semedo's gold card as well is up a decent amount. And then we start getting into infield players as well. D Young, Frankie D Young's in form. Even his gold card, um, which was around 40. Last night, I think it was around 47,000 coins before Weekend League Rewards, and he has now risen up all... Oh, this is the special version. Never mind. I have the filter on special. False alarm. False alarm. But he has still risen up 54,000 coins for this De Young card at the moment, uh, which is up a lot from last night. And then his informs as well. I believe I saw De Young's inform today. It was around 230k uh, before the SBC came out, and I do believe now, oh my goodness, it is almost 300k for this DeYoung Inform card. So he's risen like 60,000 coins today on the PlayStation, just because it's a pure link investment. And technically, if you wanted to get DeYoung and Chong in the same team, you could get a soft link to Chong at a right mid spot. If you had like a 4-4-2 or something with DeYoung, link it to PK, link it over to Chong, and then maybe Rashford at top or something, that would get you some links to get both of those new SBC players in the same squad. So that's a little bit extra linkage for De Young there. And honestly, if you just go and look at the uh, the index gold, even a guy like uh, Isco went up today a decent amount. Now, Isco probably has a little bit of SBC fodder um, price built into him because there were two squads today for the... Uh, let's go look at the SBC really quick. The PK SBC, I think you needed two 84 rated squads and uh, two informs. Yeah, La Liga Santander players minimum one, team of the week one, one player, and then 84 rated 70 chemistry, one Spain player, one team of the week, and 85 rated. So it's an 84 and an 85. So that's partially why you probably saw Isco go up. And again, this is another way to tell that when SBCs are popular and when they are hyped up and a lot of people are doing them, this is another way where you can tell. The index 85 today, since PK required an 84 and an 85 SBC, and I think that Chong required an 84 rated card, uh, or an 84 rated squad, this is what happened to the index 85 today. It went booming. You can see down here during rewards, it got pretty low. People invested in a club stock before the 6 p.m. drop, and then boom, SBCs come out, and they go flying. From 63 points, 62 points, almost at its lowest, all the way up to over 90 points. A lot of these 85 rateds went up. This is again to find this page. You go market index 100 down to the index. Go to the 84s. I bet the 84s are up as well. So a club stock was definitely a great way to make coins today um, from just putting some cards in your club, especially if they were um, good positions, good nationalities, stuff like that. Because people went out and did these SBCs. So people actually saw some movement on the lower end of the market, which is nice. Uh, that is very very nice in terms of. People that have been holding on to 83s, 84s, or 85s for a long time, uh, they were able to make some coins today because of this. Now, I'm honestly kind of tempted to do the PK SBC. To be honest, I did not know that his work rates were high medium. I don't like that. If they were medium high, I would probably do it. His acceleration is kind of low. His interceptions, his defending is fantastic. His agility and balance is a little bit low. But if you compare him to a guy like Varane, um, we can actually go do that right now. Let's go compare him to Varane, Rafael Varane, who is another top tier center back in this league. Let's go compare. We're going to compare to PK. I'm going to send you guys over here with me. PK 90 rated. And we're also going to compare to, let's say, Leng Lei. Let's throw Leng Lei in here as well. So, three, three card comparison um, because these are two of the most popular center backs in the La Liga. Obviously, and I would almost say that they're more popular than Ramos, but Ramos is very popular as well. PK with 461 total stats, big time boost in the in games as well. So people are seeing this and like, man, this is a pretty dang good card. But if you look at the face stats, the dribbling and the passing and the shooting is where this uh, PK card got a massive boost. From PK's gold card, he did get a lot of um, a pace boost as well. Physicality is pretty similar, but the defense is up. Um, so let's go to the most important categories 
acceleration. He's a lot slower than Varan and even Langley. He's got 81 sprint speed, but it's going to take him a long time to get up to that sprint speed with 61 acceleration. Agility and balance is just average. Everything else, though, 95 ball control, 99 composure, and 98 reactions. Uh, that's going to be interesting because I think people are going to find out that he probably feels really nice uh, when he's trying to get the ball out of the back. He's going to have nice composure, good ball control, and reactions. That might help his car out a lot, and that's an interesting stat that might come into play with the reactions being 98 instead of 83 and 84. That could be a big-time uh, stat for this card. And then, um, again, the defensive categories as well. 90 standing tackle, 91 marking, and he's just a couple points ahead on all on both of these guys by a little bit. A little bit less, actually, in physicality. The thing that boosts his physicality stat up is his 89 strength, 71 stamina. Aggression is kind of a little low as well. So, again, this is a great card, though. Price at 100,000 coins. Like, this SBC, it's cheaper than Varan. It's a little bit cheaper than Leng Lei. And it's about half the price almost of where Ramos was. So that's why this SBC had a lot of hype around it today. People saw the in-game stats. They compared it to Ramos. They said, man, this card is pretty stinking good. And I'm paying less than getting the Ramos card. And I get a couple packs back. There's the Scream team in packs, obviously, right now. So that is why I think you saw um, a lot of people go out and do this SBC today. And then the Chong SBC, again, is just very cheap. And people do cheap SBCs. It's, it costs like 30 thousand coins to do that SBC. So regardless of what your opinion is um, with the PK SBC, whether or not um, you're going to do it or not, um, there was a lot of market movements around that today. And I think it's a learning point that we can learn from in terms of on the market. When we see an SBC that is quote unquote good value or that a lot of people are going to want to do, um, then we can kind of look for the parameters and know, okay, this SBC is good. Maybe when the SBC drops right away, we can say, hey, um, this is a possibility for link investments too, uh, and stuff like that. We talked about link investing, link investing before this year in terms of like link investing to team of the week cards. But when you get an SBC like we did today with the PK, um, it just takes that link investing to a whole new level because so many people would want to do that card because of where he fits into a lot of teams. With Ter Stegen being one of the most popular goalkeepers, with Langley and Varan being very popular as well. That card just slots into lots of people's teams. It's very good. It's not that expensive. And that's the kind of stuff that makes people want to do SBCs on this game. Good card, good price, and, uh, and and meta. Technically fits the meta good stats, basically. So that's exactly why PK. And we had a ton of market movements around that today. I want to talk about Scream cards here at the end as well. Again, uh, let me rephrase. I am probably... I'm 50-50 on the PK SBC. What I would do and I would, what I would tell you guys to do is wait until you see somebody come out with like a player review on YouTube. I don't really do player reviews. I don't play the game a ton. You can tell by my record. Just not something that I spend a lot of time doing on this game. But find somebody who does um, and look at that player review. Watch maybe a couple of them if you can find a few. Watch a PK player review and um, maybe you can decide from there whether you want to go ahead and try to go attempt and finish that SBC if you have not done it. If you have done it, frick yeah, let me know in the comments down below uh, what you think about that SBC uh, because that's uh, a big SBC. A lot of people spent some coins into that. And uh, yeah, if he's working great for you, please let me know. I'd be very curious. I want to talk about the screen cards as well. I mentioned this just now. These, all these cards are back in packs. The first set of the, of the screen cards and the second set. Taking a look over here, Flippin right off the bat. I know some cards has have risen up already from where they were when a lot of packs were open. A lot of people saved their weekly rewards. There were two pack SBCs today, so that dropped some supply on these cards. But some of them have risen back up already. Delhi was like 220 at one point. Uh, Ro Magnolia is still low. Bernard was 185. He's back up to 202. Odomendi is still kind of low. James was right below 300. He's back up. Um, so some of those cards have moved a little bit. What if we go to Ultimate Scream 2? Firmino was like 620k. He's back to 658. Insigne was like 750 at one point. He's back up. Uh, St. Juste was under 100. Payet, I think, was actually... I think Payet was somewhere around like 80k. Was Payet like 80k? Or, excuse me, like 60k at some point or, uh, today. Maybe not. Yeah, he was. 70,000 coins. He's already back up to 75. He's risen up nicely. He was 87. And I do remember seeing him at some point. He was around 60k. Adama's at 290. 
Um, this card probably has risen back up from where it was. 274. He's now almost went right up to 300. So he's 290 now. So again, there was a lot of supply. I don't think it was the cheapest time for these cards. I think there's going to be more pack supply throughout this weekend. And we're going to see more of these cards and more supply of these cards come onto the game because... According to FIFA, according to what they tweeted today, according to the lock screen, all screen players are now available in packs uh, basically until Sunday at 6 p.m. UK. So that means we have Friday content and Saturday content for more pack supply, Fridays and Saturdays. Friday's probably going to be a pretty big day again with maybe not a player SBC, but more packs and um, whatever new content they want to put out for the screen SBC. But a lot of content today. A lot of screen cards, again, put onto the game with people saving weekly league rewards, opening packs. We didn't really have that good of promo packs today. 45K packs? Um, I think they put out 45Ks. Yeah, they put out eight 45,000 coin packs. And with a 1.1% chance of an ultimate scream, so they might have bumped that up a little bit. So the scream supply might have been boosted a tiny bit because before that had always been below 1%. So that's going to be interesting to watch. But again, if you're looking to buy scream cards, I'm thinking Saturday night, weekend league sell-off. Saturday into Sunday is going to be your best bet for some of those. People finish the weekend league and uh, sell off a lot of those cards. Keep watch on those. I think that could be some of your time to buy them. Uh, we'll be watching this all over the weekend as well, watching more market movements. If we get more SBCs, um, if the PK SBC gets a little more expensive or whatever, we'll talk about some of that stuff as well. If you have any questions, if you bought a lot of stuff tonight, you're probably doing decently well on it. The market is going back up. From all the panic today that happened around the drop time, 6 p.m. UK, a lot of stuff is headed back up. So that is very good. We like that. That means making coins and all types of fun things uh, on this game. So if you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.